Hey guys, my name is Doug with infotainment.com. Today we're in the 2016 and up Ford F-150. I want to show you guys how easy it is to upgrade your non-navigation equipped SYNC 3 system to full Ford genuine GPS navigation. It is very easy to do. I want to show you guys today how easy it is. You simply just need to replace the SYNC 3 module that's on the back side of the screen. Just a couple screws to get it out and then simply just swap the module. These are all pre-programmed by infotainment.com for a plug and play installation. We just need your VIN number and we'll get it so you don't you retain all of your features that you currently have. So let me show you how it's done. All right, the first thing we wanna do is remove this speaker grill. If you don't have a speaker here, there'll be like a little mat and uh, just pull up on the mat. There's two seven millimeter screws underneath it. So basically just pop, if you do have the grill, just pop that grill out, just held in with retaining clips. And that'll give you access to the two seven millimeter screws. All right, once you remove those two screws, just pop out the panel and then just set it off to the side. What we really need to do is just gain access to these two screws here. Once you remove those two screws, simply just pull back on the bezel. The rest of it's just held in with retaining clips. So come around the back side and disconnect your connectors. These ones up here have just two little pins on the end push those little pins in and pull it out. You actually don't need to remove the whole bezel. You can kind of just have it laying down here. What we really are trying to do once we remove the, the bezel is get after the six screws. They're seven millimeter screws on um, three on each side of your current SYNC 3 display. Now we can pull it away from the dash and just disconnect the three connectors. Push the little tab in and slide the lever over to remove the main connector. Push the tab in to remove your USB and then go ahead and push the tab in for the GPS to remove that. All right guys, as I mentioned, it's just as easy as just taking this module off and putting this one in its place. There's three Phillips head screws that hold it in, so we'll take those out first. And then you'll notice a little blue connector over here. Push the tab in and then just work it out. Pull the, pull the SYNC 3 module off and put the new one on into the exact same location. And simply just put the three screws in, plug in your blue connector, and you're ready to go. Now we can install it. We're just gonna plug everything in, put our screws back in just the way we took it out. All right, guys, now that everything's buttoned up and in its place, let's go ahead and start the vehicle and check it out. Right away, you see the Ford splash screen, the animated Ford splash screen looks really nice and professional. And voila, here's the SYNC 3 system. So within the home screen here, you can actually reorganize it the way you want, but the way it comes from the factory is the map. Those of you who have navigation, the, na the map will show up here. Your entertainment will be here, and your phone will be here. Okay? So it looks like it pinpointed our location immediately. Uh, sometimes you need to drive the vehicle around for a, a time or two. 
uh, for a few minutes and then it'll it'll pull your through the GPS satellites pull your position as I mentioned this particular one has the embedded navigation they do have ones without navigation but still have CarPlay and Android Auto and all these other features so again home screen um, map here entertainment and phone there audio soft key down here uh, it'll pull up the radio station first but you do have the selection of AM FM Sirius satellite radio for those of you who have that currently if you want to add Sirius XM satellite radio come see us at infotainment we have that upgrade available for factory Ford Sirius satellite radio you notice it has the station art stuff like that just a really cool system here for Sirius satellite radio Back to sources, you also have CD uh, and Bluetooth stereo. The CD player icon here will be visible from 17 to 18. 2019, they did away with the CD player. We do have a kit coming out to allow you to add CD player if you want, 19 and up. Uh, otherwise, we also have here Bluetooth stereo. Once you pair your phone, you could do Bluetooth streaming audio. All right, so this is all through the entertainment sources. I did want to point out to those of you who want to add uh, HD radio, we do have kits for that as well. So you get crystal clear radio stations. So we're going to go back to home here. Phone, simply click this. Search for your vehicle on your device and select it once it is found. You'll be able to search for sync on uh, your phone, and then you can pair it that way. Very easy to do. Uh, now, this particular one, as I mentioned, has nav. So right here, you pinpoint our location. It's really cool. This particular screen has pinch to zoom, which is really neat. Uh, in the menu here, you can change different things. Where are you? Navigation settings. Do you want to avoid toll? Stuff like that. That can all be done through the menu or the settings, which I'll get to shortly. Uh, zoom in and out. It has 2D and 3D maps. Just a really cool system here. Destination, set your home or work. So as soon as you get in the vehicle, you just hit home or work and it takes you right where you need to go. You don't have anything clanky on your windshield. You're not holding your phone the whole time. This is 100% factory Ford GPS navigation. Uh, I'll give you a quick demo. Go to previous. Select a previous, hit start. Obey traffic laws, be alert, and use voice commands while driving. Please so that, proceed to the highlighted route, and then the route guidance will start. As you can see, the guidance comes through the speaker, so it's a nice factory upgrade there. So we're going to go back to the home screen, uh, go to apps. Those of you who opt for Sirius XM Travel Link, that is something that is an additional subscription through Sirius Satellite Radio. It gives you traffic um, updates, movie listings, sports scores, weather, so on and so forth. Um, again, a, an additional subscription through Sirius Satellite Radio. Uh, in the settings menu, again, all sorts of stuff here you can kind of come in and play with. But just a really, really awesome, very clean... Uh, system here with the Ford Sync 3. All right, one of the greatest things about the Sync 3 system is the uh, the availability of of Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So simply plug your Lightning cable into the USB hub, and then plug the other end into your iPhone. And you'll have Apple CarPlay in your vehicle. Such an awesome upgrade. Um, make and receive phone calls uh, right through the phone soft key. This is through Apple Music. Those of you who have a subscription to that. Apple Maps. Takes where you want to go just like it does on your iPhone. Search for a destination. Go to a previous. Um, Tap this and just hit go, and it'll literally take you where you need to go. Messages, what a great safety feature. As you're driving, the system will actually read your text messages to you. You hit the prompt, it reads it to you, and allows you to respond. Meanwhile, you have your hands on the steering wheel the whole time. Now playing just shows you the existing music you're actually listening to on your phone. The Ford icon here brings you back to the, the main Sync 3 screen. Podcast, those of you who like podcasts, come check out the Infotainment Talk Radio. Uh, it's a little plug for us here at infotainment.com. 
audiobooks. I mean, there's all these different apps. If you go to Apple's um, uh, CarPlay website, it tells you all the different apps that you can download on your phone and have reflected onto the Sync 3 screen. Just really cool. App back, Google Maps. Um, this is really, really neat. It gives you the visuals um, right there through there. Uh, again, there's a text message coming in. I can click in it and it'll read it to me. Uh, Pandora, Spotify, SiriusXM, if you have that on your phone, you can listen to it that way. Waze, another crowd favorite. Um, just a really, really cool system here, guys, with the Sync 3 Apple CarPlay feature. All right, guys, similar to Apple CarPlay, it is also Android Auto compatible. So plug in your factory lightning cable, plug it into the bottom of your Android device. You'll follow some on-screen prompts initially, just hit accept to everything, and now you'll have Android Auto in your vehicle. Really cool. So this is your main home screen. Get to the recent uh, things that you've done on your phone. Over here on the left is your navigation through Google Maps. Just go where you need to go. Search for a destination, go to where you need to go. Um, here on the phone, obviously you can make and receive phone calls. This brings you back to the home screen. This allows you to listen to your music, whether it's Pandora or whatever else you desire. And then the end button here returns you to the main sync screen. All right, guys, that's just a quick little demo of how the Sync 3 system works. We do this upgrade and so much more here at infotainment.com. We use all Ford factory parts, 100% pre-programmed for a plug-and-play installation. Besides something like this, we also do factory headlights and taillights with LED strips in them. Uh, we do backup cameras. Um, so you get the backup camera image right here on your display. We do other cameras such as front camera and even sometimes side cameras. Um, leather seating, we partnered with Catskin. We have a great relationship with them for factory style leather kits for your Ford vehicle. Um, that all comes exactly fit and we have installation videos that show you how to do it yourself if you want to. Um, you'll notice in this board here, we have a digital speedometer cluster. Now this is an XLT F-150, which came with a small cluster. This is the Lariat cluster. So it's really, really cool. Nice big digital screen. Uh, other things, if your Ford has the auto start stop feature, every time you get to a stoplight or stop sign, it turns off. We can disable that, infotainment.com. Um, satellite radio, as I mentioned, maybe you just want to add satellite radio or HD radio. We have plug and play factory kits for that, uh, as well as so much more. So come check us out, guys, infotainment.com. Thanks for watching.